Thanks a lot, gents. Okay. Now, tomorrow marks the commencement of the 162nd installment of the World Sports Betting Met at Kenilworth Racecourse. Originating in 1883 as the Metropolitan Mile, this race remains a pinnacle on South Africa's horse racing calendar, retaining its prestigious status. Now, our very own Expresso sports producer Lorenzo Daris caught up with last year's winning trainer Jason Snaith of Snaith Racing to find out how they are preparing for the big day. Take a look. We're officially one day away from the 162nd running of the World Sports Bet Met at the Kenilworth Racecourse in Cape Town. It's not just about food, fashion and entertainment. It's about 169 horses in 11 races for their share of 2 million rand in prizes. We at Snaith Racing to check out the rock stars of this weekend's Met. Justin, your family has been training horses since 1970 and you're the leading trainer in the country. What do you attribute your success to? Look, it's been a, a lot of hard work, I can assure you. Um, you've got to be geared for this. It's like any profession. You've got to be passionate. This is what you want to do because the hours are crazy. Horses have to eat every day, so the commitment has to be there. You, you've got to wake up in the early hours of the morning I've been all, all around the world, worked for some of the best trainers in the world to make a basis of our business that gives us that little bit edge uh, uh, here in South Africa. How important is planning and especially the build up to a race like the Met? It is of the highest level. If, if, and, I'm, and I'm not kidding. It's very much if you're saying like uh, the, the planning of any provincial rugby side, it's exactly the same. It's very, very professional. The stakes are high, the finances are high. As you see on Saturday, there's a race for 7.5 million rand. Things have to be organized. They have to be decided in what riders may suit the horse. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the welfare of the animal and ensuring that it is happy. That is, for me, is the biggest thing. As you can see here on this beautiful farm, the horses are given everything they need to compete at the highest level, being in a, in a safe environment and a comfortable environment. So World Sports Betting Met is a day where a lot of South Africans come from all over. We have people coming from Natal, Johannesburg, the Eastern Cape, all coming for this one day. So everything has to be done correctly. So I see the horses are getting a little bit of an ice bath. How does that help with their recovery? Listen, Gary Player will be excited, him and his ice, ice baths. It's a big thing. And I think it's the way the world's going in, in certain ways with a lot of you see here in Cape Town, people going into the cold water. It does work. So the nice thing about horses is that their circulation's a bit different to ours. So when cold ice water like that doesn't affect them, they have no problem with it. As you see how comfortable they are standing in, the, in an ice boot, so by having that on for 10 minutes, I can see the difference. I can see the inflammation in the leg going away. And the most important thing is that we're doing this all naturally. Grant, what kind of preparation have you been doing in the build up to the Met? Basically on the day, it depends on what weight you ride. If you have a light ride, then you'd obviously go on a strict diet and you know, do um, the saunas and things like that. Um, uh, we race quite often, so I haven't really had any preparation done uh, by the fact that I've been that been racing. So I'm I'm racing fit, and of course, like you still have to, you know, maintain it and do the gym work and stuff. But I'm I'm naturally fit, so um, I don't have a light ride this weekend. So that's I'm I'm really glad for that. Any pre-race rituals you'd like to share with us? No, not really. Um, and I'm not a superstitious person. I that you just go into a race clear-minded and a ride on instinct. Um, at the end of the day, we are dealing with horses, so, um, you know, horses have their own minds at the end of the day. Anything can happen, so um, safety does come first. Of course, we do have a little prayer before we, you know, go out and ride just to make sure we're all safe. You're an accomplished jockey with many wins under your belt. Which one stand out for you? Yeah, I was fortunate enough to have some good wins. Um, top of my head probably would be the Met. Um, yeah, it's a race many jockeys want to win. JP, who are you racing this Saturday? I'm on Bakaya, and um, obviously for the Met, I think he's second or third favorite, so we're expecting a very big round from him. How many times have you raced Bakaya, and how easy on the track? 
Uh, I've sat in him a couple of times. He's a bit of a tricky fella. He wants it his own way. Before the race, he's a lot of hard work. He doesn't want to go to the starting stalls. You have to get off and run him towards the starting stall. So he's a bit of a handful. But then in a the race, he comes out smartly and then he just drops, drops himself out. And then um, just before the straight, he grabs a bit again and then he's ready for it again. And uh, he always finishes very strong. So it feels like the further we, we go, the just stronger he progresses. So I'm very happy with that he's back in the 2000. What temperament are you looking for in a great racehorse? I think for sprinters, you want him a little bit more amped up, a little bit aggressive. And I think for more longer distance, you want horses to be more calmer, relaxed so they can breathe and finish off the race. How many horses do you have running on Saturday and do you have any hot tips for us? We've got 30, 38 <laughs> running on the day. So I'll probably lose about two kilos running around looking after all these horses, ensuring that they're all in a good place. And I do think we're going to have a big day. I think in the main race, I've got some very smart individuals, but the favorite's going to be a very hard horse to beat. See it again. He's a horse that comes in as the hot, hot favorite. And certainly I think I'm the guy that can maybe upset I've got a horse called Handsome Prince on the day. I think he'll run really well. He'll be a very, very tough horse to beat. So anyone that's looking to pay school fees at the end of the month, Handsome Prince is your horse. The World Sports Betting Met gets underway tomorrow, the 27th of January at Kenilworth Racecourse. It's a defining race that owners, trainers, jockeys and grooms would like to win. So make your way over to Kenilworth Racecourse and enjoy the Cape Splendor. You know what? It is absolutely amazing to see, number one, Lorenzo out in the field doing his thing. What a talent. And then, of course, uh, Jason Snaith from Snaith Racing. What an amazing house of uh, winning horses. But the two gentlemen are still here. We've got Brandon and Aldo. Uh, just to tell you a bit more about the items that jockeys would, you know, use in the field. Of course, the Mets tomorrow. So let's start off, Brandon. You've got this very interesting thing that looks like it. I don't even know what that covers. What is that? Yeah, so this is a saddle. Okay. Um, these are obviously your stirrup irons and right. uh, very light. Very extremely light. So this is okay. Okay, this is a saddle. That's it. Yeah. Is this a is this a saddle for what? It's so small. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, that's what uh, Aldo he was telling me off uh, camera. I mean, yeah. can you? I couldn't believe it myself. But only the inside of the inner toes go into the uh, irons. I thought obviously the whole foot goes in. Aldo yeah. perhaps could yeah. tell us a little so. bit more. Okay. As to how he would adjust it. Wow, this is this is amazing. Seriously, I mean, you're learning a bit more. It's not so, just about the actual horse racing, but there are tools there. There are it's expertise. And look at that. And look how thin it's so right, lightweight as well. It, yeah. yeah, it's and about 150 grams, so essentially that would... Oh, so it's there. That's on the horse's back end. This yeah. is what protects you and... Oh, this is great. And then obviously this is... I mean, I'm wearing your, your very, very tight attire as well. <laughs> you know, jockeys wear very tight attire. Naturally, this is obviously for drag, right? Just to make... Well, yeah. I, mean, I mean, as in the wind yeah, and that yeah. sort of thing. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure that you know. <laughs> Lovely! Uh, right, Brandon, Aldo, all the best. It's going to be an amazing event tomorrow at the Met. And of course, we're going to dig a bit deeper in your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Uh, we've got Cape Splendor, you know, unpacked for you by Gavin Raja a little bit later. So make sure you stick around. We're excited for the Met and you'll be uh, very, very lucky to have met all of these amazing people like Brandon as well as Aldo and others on your Feel Good Breakfast show today. So make sure you stick around.